everyone. Despite the COVID pandemic, we managed to do quite a lot in Friendly Need India Trust. So let me race through this presentation. First of all, uh, the vision of Finn is that all places on earth where we live should be clean in order to be healthy um, and uh, for human beings. So towards this end, we do a lot of activities focused around water, sanitation, community engagement, and community waste management. We have uh, two levels at which we operate. One is in a village that we have adopted called Kameshwaram in Tamil Nadu, India, that had been ravaged by the tsunami. And uh, then we have an online international community of students, volunteers, practitioners in what we call the Center for Circular Economy. And uh, both these divisions uh, interact with one another, which makes Finn unique and uh, working in Finn a very rich uh, experience. So let me start with the rural lab. We have six projects. First of all, in terms of sanitation infrastructure, uh, we got a CSR uh, program grant from Powertech Engineering to transform the lives of five households by repairing their toilets or providing them with toilets. All of these were households with uh, adolescent girls um, and uh, where they were all below the poverty line. We are very grateful to Powertech Engineering and uh, we are trying to introduce in every case, including this one, uh, innovations to make the toilets climate resilient. And this time the focus is on rainwater harvesting. Then the second line is of activity is on environmental education. Uh, because of the pandemic, all schools and crashes were closed. So we took this as a good time to actually uh, create what we call the Green Academy project content out of classroom education. So we were creating the content and we also have gardens. We are working on them. We had already started and we are building an environmental demonstration garden to teach children and to teach the residents of Kameshwaram to value nature and pra ecological practices. In this, we also had university students learn about rural development by interacting with us. Then we also have education for empowerment. This is work in progress. We use the time under the pandemic to create the material. We're going to start with the computer typing classes first because we have found a good teacher. The ladies are very excited about this. This is centered on women. Then we have community actions to engage with the local community and motivate them towards the circular economy model. So we not only had uh, observed the UN days, like for International Women's Day, we also meet with the waste workers whom we call the green workers, and we try to bring in religious unity. Then our fifth project is demonstrating sustainability practices through practicing the three R's. And here we are proud to say we have developed some, some products taking waste from tailors and non-biodegradable uh, waste, pack plastic packaging, and we are making useful products from them. All of us are composting. We are also introducing ecological hygiene products and growing organic vegetables. So uh, after this, project six is community research. We collect uh, data because you see we have uh, data at uh, the district level we have data at the village level but there is a lot of data discrepancy so in order to help policy makers we are uh, filling up government uh, government forms with directly observed data and in order to make the uh, the database available in india more robust we are trying to also review all the toilets, the map, the 
sanitation status and water status. We, we, we did it for sanitation. Now let's come to the center for circular economy. Here are three project lines are youth training events and having fun connecting the rural lab and the virtual lab. So in terms of its achievement in youth training, um, we had 15 students actually and three webinars and many new partners. These are our 15 students. They come from India, Belgium, USA, France and Spain. And we also are collaborating with the following institutions. We hope to see this grow both in India and in Europe. So they produce various knowledge products that would be useful for uh, practitioners in the field of development. And they also wanted to have their own website. So they have their website, blogs, broadcasts. These are a very rich source of information on waste management in different parts of the world. We had three international webinars which were open to all. The recordings are accessible with uh, top experts only for the International Women's Day event because of the nature of the topic. Uh, we could not make it available to the public because already some of our speakers uh, are suffering from uh, from threats. Then we we improved our partnerships. We we developed partnership with two firms, PowerTech for the rural lab and Fusion Waste Management for the virtual lab for the circular economy. We also develop a partnership with Engineers Without Borders Ireland that is proving to be very rich for the rural lab. And then this is an interesting illustration of the output of the rural lab virtual lab corridor a covid uh, campaign the government of india campaigns are not localized and therefore cannot be imbibed or even diffused effectively among the population in rural areas or even urban slums i i actually don't know who who reads them so uh, work was done to localize it to make it interesting without making it scary this was diffused in the rural lab and uh, Kameshwaram village got recognition from the collector as being the village in the district with the maximum number of vaccinations. So we were all very happy. And this is another social innovation. Uh, that is social innovations are innovations that uh, generate value not only to the innovator, very little to the community innovator, but more to the community. So this is a localized calendar with the bus timings and emergency numbers. So all in all, it has been a very happy year, rich in output, and we hope to have you with us and more and doing better for the world. Thank you. Hello, I am Avishak Pathak. We hope you enjoyed getting to know us. If you are interested in working with us, then you can contact me at 8709369285 or you can drop an email to pintrust.india at the rate gmail.com. Thank you so much.